Local residents, led by a bird dealer named Tilly, caught the four-meter reptile, dragged it ashore and removed the rubber collar from its neck. The crocodile was then released back into the river. As the Guardian notes, attempts to help the crocodile have been made before, but none of them has been successful. People produce a huge amount of garbage. A significant proportion of it is improperly disposed of and penetrates into natural ecosystems, where it causes serious harm to wild animals. For example, ocean dwellers, from sea turtles and albatrosses to cetaceans, regularly ingest plastic waste and die from intestinal obstruction. And hermit crabs fall prey to use tires thrown into the sea. They climb inside them, but cannot get back out and eventually eat each other and die of starvation. Garbage can pose a threat even to apex predators. Residents of the Indonesian city of Palu on the island of Sulawesi were convinced of this. In 2016, they spotted a combed crocodile, Crocodylus porosus, about 4 meters long in the river flowing through the city, which was damaged by a discarded tire, in this case it was a motorcycle tire. The reptile somehow put it around his neck and couldn't take it off. It is possible that the tire was part of a poaching trap. Many feared that as the crocodile grew, the rubber collar would eventually suffocate it. However, all attempts to free the reptile, which were made over the course of six years, ended in vain. Even a professional crocodile catcher from Australia could not cope with the task. In an attempt to draw more attention to the problem, the city government promised in early 2020 to reward anyone who could help the crocodile. But the idea was soon abandoned, since ill-conceived interference could do more harm to the giant than good. Last Monday, the story of the Palu crocodile finally came to an end. His savior was a bird dealer named Tilly, like many other Indonesians, he uses one name. The man tried for three weeks to lure the reptile with live chickens and ducks and lasso. Twice the ropes broke, and only the nylon tow rope was strong enough to hold the stubborn crocodile. The situation was complicated by the presence of about 30 of his relatives in the same river. However, dozens of local residents came to the aid of Tilly, watching the rescue operation. Together they pulled the crocodile ashore, cut the tire that was in the way with a saw and removed it. After that, the reptile was released back into the water. Tilly claims that he acted out of selfless motives, he simply felt sorry for the crocodile. Nevertheless, the authorities intend to thank him. According to Hasmuni Hasmar, head of the local conservation agency, the man will receive a reward for saving the reptile. Last fall, we reported on how Peruvian police rescued a pigeon with a drone. The bird got tangled in a rope with its paws and hung upside down on a cable stretched over a city street. Police officers tied a knife to the drone, lifted it into the air and cut the rope. The free dove was able to fly away and was soon caught by local residents to remove the remnants of the feathers from its paws. Thanks for watching, if you liked the video, please leave a like. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell, videos are released every day.